spring break experience is when my history teacher uh, assigned a really big paper over the spring break. And it ruined my whole break because I had to do that paper every day instead of having fun. I went to New Orleans for spring break and there was like a big party on Bourbon Street and we were all hanging out and it was a couple of my friends and one of us got separated and uh, we went to go find her and what ended up happening is somebody had taken her into a back alley and stabbed her and she left her there to die. And we actually ended up finding her and having to have an ambulance take her back to a hospital. And luckily it was pretty superficial. It was like on her arm and like one in her chest. But she ended up being okay, which was nice. So that's pretty much it. This one time I was camping with my friends up at, um, I forget what beach it was. But my friend said, none of us decided to drink except for my friend, but he bought this huge, like, handle of vodka, and he finished most of it by himself, and he got alcohol poisoning. <laughs> and so he was throwing up into the fire pit, and we had to give him a bunch of Gatorade and stuff. He was fine, though, but still, kind of was a downer. <laughs> my worst experience for spring break is I really don't have a spring break, I work too much. Uh, one of the worst spring break for me is when uh, professors assign a lot of projects which eliminates any chance of uh, having any spring break for me. Uh, my worst spring break experiences is not being able to go away and enjoy myself, having to stay home and work and write a paper that's due or study for an exam that's right after. So that kind of puts a damper on it. My worst spring break experience, I had planned a trip um, booked my flight, and basically I missed my flight because I woke up too late, <laughs> so I didn't get to go. <laughs> so that was the worst experience ever. <laughs>